Hey Harmonizers, welcome to this video of Elon doing his final round at the Extreme Cowboy Racing at the World Competition in Texas. So originally when we came down to Texas, uh, when we had signed up for the competition, it was supposed to be Mustangs that were in their first year of adoption and being retrained. But because of low registration, they opened up the competition to Mustangs of any um, any experience level, as long as they were still with their original owner. So it meant we were going to be facing a whole bunch of really tough competition. So I decided to make this a really just positive learning experience for Elon, recognizing that we were totally outfaced and uh, going to be overwhelmed compared to the other partnerships that we're going to be competing. So starting off this particular obstacle here with the ATV, I asked them not even to start it for Elon. He was already kind of nervous coming into the ring and I just thought that would be too much for him to be able to handle that coming in. I wanted him to have a really confident experience in the ring. So even though it meant I was going to lose a lot of points for that particular obstacle, I said, please don't bother driving it forward. Just let me catch it and rope off of him. And I'm happy I did that because then we went into the ring and he was much more relaxed than he was the first time we came into the ring. And there we were supposed to canter the first circle, but he was too nervous, so he only gave me the trot. So I decided to repeat the second circle and get him to do that canter for me. Remembering that I'm not trying to win this particular round, I recognize that we didn't really have a chance at placing in the top three. So there was no point kind of blowing past obstacles or kind of moving on. I may as well try to go uh, a little bit slower in the sense that I would repeat things if Elon needed repeating. Here I was super proud of him. He went through the vines, over the drop, really, really well there. He was really confident and trusting me, so I was really happy about that, especially how he went up and over the bridge too. We came for our little canner down here, and we had to come all the way around to this narrow bridge, which actually a lot of other horses were struggling with. And I go for a canner pretty close to the obstacle. He gives it a little bit of a look, a little bit of a sniff, tries to go around it at first but he gets four feet up and on pretty easily there so I was really happy with that. I pick up the tarp drag and I start to go forward and he gets a little bit worried by it so instead of just kind of going forward and using his fear to go fast through the obstacle I say let's walk over it realize it's not super scary and then let's head on. So there's just an example of me recognizing we're not riding to win this competition we're riding to prepare Elon for a confident experience to hopefully do this in the future even more confidently. Up and over the jumps there, no problem, and he's never done bounces before, so I was really proud of him for that. He did really well. Here is a side pass there, and he uh, started to get a little excited thinking we were going to canter towards home again, but I had to turn him around and say, no, we are going to side pass. Then we had to spin this thing which had rocks in it and made a bit of a rattle noise. He did that really well, side pass in, side pass out, we get turned around, and then it's time for our rollbacks, which he has only just started to learn how to do it, and he can do a lot better than what he just did there, but he was thinking too much about running towards home and not really thinking about his transitions, so they're not as crisp as he can do if he's more relaxed. That's just a little bit of him not being super confident and those little things that will just get better over time as we get more experience together and go more places. Here is the little figure eight with the um, in the really small space here. So I decide to redo that little circle there to make sure I can get his left lead. So again, just another little example of me wanting to make sure Elon gets his confidence up and gets all of his canner, all of his correct leads and everything like that. Really just trying to make a good experience for him. And then here is our backup to head out of the obstacle across the time there. And that was his last round. So I was really happy with that. He did everything I asked him to do. Um, we took a little bit of extra time to make sure we got our canners. But overall, I'm so proud of this little guy who's only been under saddle for a few months.